I had to take my galley out in order to service that battery tray I talked about. In the meantime, I decided I was going to make a few improvements to my galley module. So I easily walked it out. Yes, I'm beating that horse again. Modular options came right out. So I dropped off the sink portion, which was designed separately so I could do just that drop it off if I needed to but if I wanted to I could turn that sink module and just run it down one side of the van so it's not an L shape options baby options the first step in this quickie project was to build a bridge for the tray to sit on. A couple of supports and a couple of stanchions later. So here's what I got now. I wrapped the wires uh, and I put some bumpers on my bridge. And guess what I made those bumpers out of? Heavy mass vinyl. That's right. That is great stuff. So there'll be no chafing in here. No chafing. The biggest problem I have is this wire. This is so dense and so heavy and thick. I do not want to stress it in any way. And of course, the way these two have to plug together is stressing the wire on its own. So what I got to do, I've been playing around with positioning this stuff. Everything is loose and I'm playing on my board as to where I'm going to put everything. I've started to make some marks as to what I'm going to cut, how I'm going to cut it. It's got to look nice. I don't want a rat's nest. You know, this stuff has all got to be nice and straight. So, I'm working on it. But like I said, this baby is the most important thing. She's got to be comfortable. I think this is the way it's going to be, which means i got to move the com box and i got to cut a... Uh, shape for this to go under the table and back up and in and then we're in good shape. So let's do that With the curves I got to cut into this board now. This is a job for the number 10 pasta pot So the table's ready to go in it's the original piece of plywood that we used out in Indiana. I brought it back. I cut it, shaped it so it fit. It's a custom job. Uh, of course, what I cover it with? Heavy mass vinyl. Good stuff. I drilled some ventilation holes through the center here. This sits right over the inverter. The inverter's got plenty of airflow above it and all around it. But I figured any heat that collects under here, let's release it. Let's let it have a let it find a nice easy way to come up and out. So I just put a few holes in there. Rather than loom every wire that's going to pass up over this table, I loom the edges of the table. That way no matter when we put a wire in, it's protected. This is not my idea. I saw this done in Advanced RV, one of their brilliant techs, Ron. Nice job. He did this under my van. I picked up on it and I'll use it now. This is a great idea. See that? Staple it on the back side. So this baby's ready to go in. Okay. Now, here's how this baby goes in here. Just like that. My BMS. Yeah, it's, that's heavy. BMS goes right here, just like that, and I can connect everything back up. Uh, now what I'm going to do as I hook this up, I'm going to be making nice with all the wires. I'll get them all nice and coiled up. So now this guy, when he plugs in, I think it was a she yesterday, right? When she plugs in, she's going to be nice and relaxed. No stressing on the wires. One thing I'm going to change down the road 
is I do not like this fuse cover. This is the first thing you get to when you open this panel. I don't need anybody inadvertently shocking themselves through the van like I went. I did it. It was fun. You do it. You may not be laughing. So I'm going to get a nice uh, plastic cover for this fuse right here and we'll be good to go. So I got everything in place now. The board's in, it's rock solid. I could shake the van on the board. I could shake the van on my connections. Tight. And I found a place where this wire is relaxed. And it's gonna plug right in there. And everybody's good. So, what's next? For day-to-day -day updates and progress reports, check out Humble Road on Facebook and on Instagram on a Humble Road.